So you have the W221 S Class with the entertainment system package. This is the package with the DVD player that's located right on the floor in the back seat. And you also have these screens in the back seat. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to get video to this screen from the DVD player we just saw and also the DVD player that's attached to the front dashboard. Now this is a 2012 hybrid S400. So this should work on any S-Class from the year 2007, I believe this body style, up until 2013. So first thing we're gonna do is you want to go to your command center here and you wanna choose your video source. Now in this S class, right here you have the hidden compartment of your CD MP3 player. And you have a six disc changer in here. So once the video begins to play, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna push on your little mouse right there to bring up the menu. And then you wanna scroll with the mouse over to where it says DVD-V and click it. Now you're gonna bring up this menu and you wanna activate right here, active source for rear and click that. So you wanna go right here or wherever you keep your remote control and you want to select on your remote the screen you're looking at so this would be the left screen and you want to turn it on so you press the on button now because we synced up the front image to the back already when it comes on the image is automatically going to be on this screen how do we get the dvd down at the bottom of the car to play on these screens back here in the back seat and just to let you know, the DVD in the bottom of the car in the back seat does not attach to the front screen. It only attaches to these rear screens. So what you wanna do is you wanna select the screen that you're looking at. So in this case, we're looking at the rear, the right, uh, left rear, and you wanna press the okay button. Now you can actually control this menu as well using this, this remote. So we can go to the DVD video, which is playing, or you can go up to the command that's playing. What we want to do here is go over to disk and press OK. Now see it says no disk. That's how you get the disk that's down here on the floor right by the back seat. So once we put a disk in there, then we will see the disk play on the screen. So now we have the front screen playing. We have the disc here and we have the front screen plan on this. And we also can do the same with this screen as well. Switch it over to the right side. You're going to press OK. We're going to go up to disc. Press OK. And now both the back seats will share whatever disc is playing in the bottom. Now, this car also has a pair of aux. You have aux inputs on this player in the back seat. And you also have aux inputs on the side of each screen in the back seat. Now these aux inputs can be used for anything that you would plug into the aux. So for example, I have here this little Nintendo Mini. So how can we get this to play on the screen? Now this particular Nintendo Mini has uh, the auxiliary outputs as well as the DC outputs which is the power that you would plug in. Now, thankfully, Mercedes actually has a power supply where you push this right here and it exposes the 115 AC or 150 watt uh, power supply right here. So we're gonna take this power supply on the Nintendo and we're gonna plug it directly into 115 volt and as you see it lights up when you plug it in and there we go we have power now we need to get this image onto the screen so we're going to take the other cable which is the aux cord so we have the cords here 
Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can either go aux into the screen, but we're actually gonna go aux onto the floor DVD player. So this way, this cord won't be coming off of the screen. So we're gonna take these and we're just gonna plug it directly in in each color that it goes to. Yellow being video and white and red being the left and right audio. So now that we have everything hooked up, how can we get the image onto the screen? First, we wanna power this on, all right? And then Rebel. grab our remote once again. We're gonna come up here. We have the right rear screen selected. We're gonna switch it over to left. So that's what we're looking at. And all we're gonna do is just go right over to aux. Enter. And there we go. We have our menu screen. So now we have Donkey Kong Jr. playing on this screen. We still have our movie playing on the front screen. And we have our DVD player from the back playing on this screen. Now what about these aux jacks? Well, if we unplug the aux from here, let me move the remote out the way. You take these out. You see the, the picture went away, but let's plug it into the side now. So again, right into the respected colors. We come back around and there is no picture. So now what? We go back to our remote control, make sure we have the right screen selected. Now, this time, instead of aux, we're gonna go to source. Now you see that? You get two choices your display aux and your disk drive aux. We're gonna push it up to display aux. And then we're gonna push okay. And there we go. So I hope this video was helpful to somebody. I, I literally had to figure this out on my own. Um, nothing on YouTube or online was telling me how to do this. So I figured I'd make this video. Also the instruction booklet wasn't really clear on how to do this. So if this video did help you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll bring you more helpful content like this. Everybody have a great day. Enjoy your W221. Thanks for watching.